Daddy, can we read this book? Oh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. This is a good one. But, you know, Kale, how old are you? I'm eight. You're eight, Kale? I think you're old enough for a very important book. What book is it? Close your eyes. I'll be right back. It is the Band Policy Handbook. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's great. It's a book that contains all of the Eastland Band's rules and their policies and procedures. Aww, that sounds a little boring. Well, like, are there dinosaurs in it? Yeah, yeah, man, there's dinosaurs in here. Here, I'll show you. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Rule number one, when entering the band hall... Wait, 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 wait. I was actually pretty excited about Grimm's Fairy Tales. There's witches, going lights, Little Red Riding Hood. Well, Kale, all that stuff is in here too. Just okay. wait. You're okay. All right. Goldilocks and the Three Snares. Once upon a time, a band student named Goldilocks wandered into the band hall. In the corner of the room, there were instruments. Goldilocks was curious. She played the first instrument. This instrument is too... <clears throat> this instrument is too big! Then she played the second instrument. This instrument is too small. Then she played the third instrument. This instrument is just right. In walked a band director. Goldilocks, are you a percussionist? No. Put those sticks down! Why are you playing on the percussion equipment? And then you have to deck by a dinosaur! Ra 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 ra! No, no, no. There are no dinosaurs in this story. Aw, oh, man! She then happily picked up her tuba and began to practice. Tuba! Cinderella. One night, upon entering the band hall after a football game, Cinderella noticed the time. 11.59 p.m. Cinderella, in her rush to get home as soon as possible, left one of her marching shoes in the band hall, and her water bottle, and her tuner, and her band polo, her marching uniform, and her silver-plated sousaphone. The next morning, one of the band directors found all of Cinderella's lost items. Well, that's lucky. And he donated them to Goodwill. Oh man, that's bad. 
Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack, no running in the band hall, and put out that candle. Little Red Riding Hood. All right, it's time for a pop quiz. Is this a good reason to miss a performance? I don't have a ride to the concert. Did I give it away? The answer is no. This is not a good reason to miss a concert. With your parents' permission, you can walk to the concert. Oh, but stay on the path. There you go, that's the ticket. You can also catch a ride with a friend. What about this excuse? I have to take cookies to my grandma. Again, no. Grandma! After you've delivered your cookies to your grandma, invite her to come to the concert with you. I bring the cookies too. I don't think that policy promotes good dietary habits. All right, let's do one more. You and your grandmother were eaten by a wolf. A dinosaur. A wolf. A dinosaur. A wolf. A dinosaur. Oh, okay, fine, a dinosaur. Yes, this is a valid reason for missing a concert. Don't worry, everything's fine. It was just incredibly traumatizing. Incredibly traumatizing. The end. Oh, what do you think? The My name is Mr. Cox. And I'm Mr. Lawrence. And I'm Mr. Hernandez. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to the team, man. And we hope you have the best year ever.